large district of Mysore. They are over 9,000 feet in depth. Here men and machines search endlessly as they do the wide world over for the one metal that has embellished the pages of history, gold. Fitted with safety helmets of bamboo and carrying special lamps, the miners of the Kolar gold fields descend 5,000 feet in a couple of minutes. Temperatures deep underground are too high and humid for comfort. So air conditioning plants transform the heat and stuffiness into a mountain atmosphere, air that is only 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Veins of gold appear in reefs of quartz that occur in rock strata. That's gold ore, and it's got by blasting. They've been burrowing so incessantly for this precious metal that there are now 600 miles of tunnels like this one, and still the search continues. Reaching the surface, the ore is taken to a gold mill. A battery of hammers pounds the ore until no piece is larger than a quarter inch. Crushed ore mixed with water is filtered. Then it passes over special woolen blankets on which the heavy gold settles. The blankets are frequently washed to free the gold. Later, the metal is shaken loose of other matter. The resulting gold dust is then smelted. Roughly three tons of collar ore produce an ounce of gold. In 1950, 189,523 ounces were produced, worth over 42 million rupees at present prices. The final stage, gold bars. Each weighing 1,000 ounces are together worth 500,000 rupees. But gold bars look dull. It takes creative craftsmanship to turn the metal into a thing of beauty for a beauty.